Coco was the notorious talking gorilla whose apparent aptitude for sign language endeared her to fans around the world. Celebrities such as Robin Williams, Sting, Leonardo DiCaprio, William Shatner, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers bassist Flea, among many others, flocked to her trailer, and many of them were proud to count her as a friend. But what exactly happened to the talking gorilla? Keep on watching this video to find out. Koko, the talking gorilla, was born Hanabiko, Japanese for fireworks child, on July 4th in the year 1971 at the San Francisco Zoo. And Dr. Patterson, who was a doctoral student in psychology at Stanford University back then, began working with Koko the next year. Koko, the talking gorilla, quickly became an instant celebrity when she was young, thanks to an early facility with American Sign Language. That popularity was bolstered over the years as Coco, a western lowland gorilla, charmed many people. Coco's ungrammatical chattiness was an astonishing accomplishment on its own, but she went on to bust other beliefs. Coco could sort of play wind instruments as well as fake a cough or sneeze on command. Moreover, the controlled breathing required to modulate sound was a feat thought to be impossible for non-human apes. Coco seemed to experience emotions like happiness, frustration, and even heartbreak in public appearances. A lifelong friend to other animals, she displayed an endearing gentleness toward cats. Coco's relationship with a kitten named All Ball inspired the popular children's book called Coco's Kitten. Coco wriggled her 127 kilogram frame into the hearts of the people by assuming human affectations, such as cradling her pet like an infant in her enormous arms. On hearing of the cat's unfortunate death in an accident, the talking gorilla signed cry, sad, frown, and bad. She occasionally makes up new words which are basically signs that are amazingly appropriate and Coco is able to string known words together in novel and also meaningful constructions, Dr. Patterson stated at the time. Coco also has a sense of humor and plays word games. And after Coco gained fame, some in the scientific community began to question the extent of Coco's abilities, suggesting that she was responding to cues or that Dr. Patterson and many others have overstated her skill projecting what they wanted to see into the gorilla's actions. The argument has continued through the decades, but did little to diminish interest in Coco. Coco's celebrity was also fueled in part by interactions with famous humans, like Rogers, whose show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and even featured Coco in a 1998 episode. Coco was instantly at ease with Rogers, playing with his sweater and telling him that she loved him. And according to Margie Whitmer, one of its longtime producers, that appearance was among the most memorable moments on the show. Coco met Robin Williams three years later, building an instant rapport with the actor and even comedian. Williams spoke very fondly of the experience in interviews, as well as even joked about their encounter in a stand up routine. After he died in 2014, Coco was reportedly crestfallen. When asked where dead gorillas went, she apparently signed comfortable hole by. Despite disregarding her outlook on death, she became very somber with her head bowed and then her lip quivered on hearing Robin Williams' death more than 10 years after they met. Coco the talking gorilla lived her entire life in captivity in the most ungorilla like fashion, in a toy cluttered trailer, hustling treats from her handlers. Many former employees claim that Patterson's obsession with the gorilla prevented her from providing an adequate diet and health care. It is no surprise that news of her own death on June 19th of 2018, two weeks before her birthday, flashed around the world and led to an outpouring of grief. Coco's language skills got her a spot on the cover of National Geographic in the year 1978 as well as 1985 and she was the subject of many documentaries. And so by the time of her death, Coco's vocabulary had ballooned to more than 2,000 words. Whatever the project's methods and its interpretations, none of it takes the shine off Coco. The talking gorilla was a charming, if messed up, gorilla who probably learned more about humans than we did about her. Well, that's all we have for you today. Did you know about the talking gorilla Coco? 
We would love to reach a thousand likes for this video, so I would very much appreciate it if you would hit the like button and of course subscribe to my channel if you want me to dive deeper in other history stories. Thanks for watching and have a great day.